Hi, my name is Jack Thomas and I'm the product specialist for the Spectis 1.0 Touch, the brand new Android smart spectrometer from GL Optic, which has been specifically designed for light measurement. The device combines high performance, highly sensitive spectral radiometry into a handy portable unit. The device can also be used to measure lux, lumen, colour temperature, colour rendering index, light intensity, chromaticity coordinates, as well as other radiometric parameters such as irradiance and radiant power. The spectral profile from 340 to 750 nanometers can also be displayed, as well as the three different CIE color space diagrams, the 1931, the 1960 and the 1976 versions. So now is a quick product overview for the GL Spectis One Touch. On the side here we have the measurement button which also switches the device on. Below here we have the slot for the SD memory card where you can save thousands of your light measurements. The bottom here we have your port for a USB cable. This is, can be used to charge the battery through laptop or mains or to communicate with the Spectrosoft software for laptop or tablet. Behind the back casing here you would find the sensor which runs from 340 to 750 nanometers and also the lithium ion battery which gives the user six hours of continuous measurement. At the front of the device here we have the full color Android smart touch screen. This is used to navigate your way through the menus as well as measuring and viewing your results. Finally we have a cap here which is protecting our cosine corrector receptor head. This has two uses. One is to protect the cosine corrector head. The other is to perform zero out dark current calibrations on the device which need to be done sort of every month or so. The cosine corrector receptor head is one of the accessories that's available with the GL Optic but it can be easily unscrewed and changed with a different accessory for a different type of light measurement. The Spectis 1.0 Touch has many unique features, one of which is the temperature compensation mechanism which is built into the device. This means that the user does not have to wait for the light sensor to warm up before having, taking a measurement. So measurements can be taken instantaneously as soon as you switch on the device. Another great benefit of having the GL Optic package is the ability to change the measuring receptor heads to perform different light measurements. As I take off the cosine corrector receptor head here, you can see that underneath I have a white coding material. This is basically used so the spectrometer can sense exactly which receptor head is being attached and uh, appropriately apply the right software calibration file for that accessory. This saves the user time that would have to have been taken to go manually in the settings and change this. The second accessory is the GL Opti 48mm integrating sphere. The sphere simply screws on as shown here and the software will recognize that a different measuring accessory has been attached and apply the correct file for a lumen measurement rather than a lux measurement. Inside the sphere here we have a coating called barium sulfate this means that once your LED unit is placed inside, um, the light is reflected uh, to about 97%, um, so you have a good diffuse reflectance inside the sphere, and then this information is passed through to the sensor in the spectrometer, and your lumen output will be given on the device, along with the other CIE standards, such as color temperature and color rendering index. The sphere is mainly designed for uh, quality control uh, purpose for single LED units, uh, can also be used as an R&D tool um, to test the chromaticity coordinates and lumen output of, of single LEDs during their development. Integrating spheres of varying sizes up to 2 meters are available in the GL Optic range. This depends on what size lighting product you wish to measure. The third accessory I'm showing now is the GL Opti Display Probe. This is used to accurately measure OLED displays and screens such as my laptop screen here. The device is connected through a fiber optic cable and I'll simply just attach it as shown. 
This can be placed in a tripod at fixed distance from your screen or you can just hold it against the screen here. I can press the measure button and the result will be in a candela per meter squared parameter instead of a lux or lumen. So now I can take a measurement on the device. Here we have the cosine corrector measuring receptor head attached. So I'm measuring illumination in lux. So I'm simply just going to press measure here. And the spectral profile from 340 to 750 nanometers will be displayed. And we can see the two large fluorescent peaks uh, from the lighting in this room at the moment. Here we have the lux value, uh, which is given as sort of a capital Y equals 403.58 lux. This value will change to a lumen value when you use the GL Opti 48 millimeter sphere, and it will change to a candela per meter squared value when you use the GL Opti Pro. Further on, we have our correlated color temperature value, which is measured in Kelvin. And then we have a rendering average here, uh, which it takes the 14 different indices and displays the average uh, to the user there. Here we have a list breakdown of the results, including the X and Y chromaticity coordinates. And we can also see the three different chromaticity charts, 1931 here with our X and Y, the 1960 with our U and V, and the 1976 with our U prime and V prime. You can go back into the main menu and into the library to view measurements that you made before as they are saved automatically into the system. Another great benefit of the Spectis One Touch is the ability to wirelessly communicate with the GL Optic software on a tablet or PC. To demonstrate this quickly, I will take a measurement here and because both devices are connected to the Wi-Fi network, the, the measurement will be displayed on the device here as well as on the software screen on the laptop. Now we can have a closer look at the GL Optic Spectrosoft software to check out some of the other features and tools that are available to the user. So now we can take a closer look at the measurement I just took on the device on the GL Optic Spectrosoft Professional software for laptop or tablet. First of all we have the three different chromaticity charts with our different coordinates, the 1931, 1960 and 1976. We also have the full spectral profile from 340 to 750 nanometers. The user can zoom into specific areas of the spectrum uh, to view more closely there. You can also put the colours of the actual visible spectrum in relation to the nanometers on the x-axis underneath the profile here as well. When looking into the results box, we have a full breakdown of all photometric and radiometric parameters for the user to view. These include the 14 different colour rendering indices and the metamerism indices, as well as colour dominant and colour peak values, which can't be seen on a standalone device. Also, we do have the selected results box. Uh, this is where the user can choose exactly which parameters are displayed here, so this can save a bit of time if you have quite a high sample throughput. Here we can see we can export um, light measurement files into a TXT format, so they can be used and imported into different software packages. Here we can generate quickly a report into our web browser with our spectra and all our parameters on here, which is easy to print off and, and easy to email straight away. Finally, we do have a LED bin editor, which is perfect solution to use with the GL Opti 48mm sphere. This is where the user can put in their own unique technical uh, requirements for chromaticity coordinates and change them here into different categories and also on their lumen brightness output as well. And once it's set up, when you measure each LED in your results page, you will get a binning category here. So that is GL Spectrosoft Professional. Thank you for watching our introductory video for the Spectis 1.0 Touch. This device can be useful for suppliers, manufacturers, designers, engineers, maintenance workers, anyone involved in the lighting industry. If you would like any more information on the device or to discuss your specific lighting requirements, please contact Analytic Limited. Thank you.